Today we are talking about Hue Link and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set the Hue Link into the maximum power output it's capable of which is 600 milliwatts or 28 dB. Now Hue Link does have a number of region and settings within it that allow you to set where it is and the device settings such as CE and FCC. However it is worth noting that they may not set the device to the full power output. However there is a way of doing this outside of those settings via ADB command line and what we're going to do in this video is walk you through how to do this. Now just before I do do that I just want to say you should always set your output to what is legal where you live and just because this is available it doesn't mean you should do it and you should always follow your local laws. Now there are some things to be aware of when you do do this as well. The first is that the healing system needs to be done on both sides. So for instance you need to set the maximum output on the ground station and the ear unit and whilst they don't have to match doing it just on the ground station will not tell the ear unit to go to maximum output as well and we will walk through that as we go through the video. Now before you can actually do this you will need to have ADB installed on your computer and have developer options enabled on the Healing device. I'm not going to walk you through how to install ADB on your PC, there's loads of tutorials online how to do that, but I will quickly show you now just how to enable the developer mode on the Healing to allow you to actually communicate with it when connecting to your PC. To put the Hue Link into developer mode, you're going to need to go down into your settings menu. So to do this, we drag down from the top, click on settings, and then scroll to the bottom. And what you're looking for is this menu option here, which is called developer options. Because I already have it enabled, it's showing on my Hue Link. However, if it isn't available and showing on yours, go into the about phone settings, scroll down to the bottom and find the option called build number. Tap this seven times. So if I keep tapping, you'll see a message come up saying, no need, you are already a developer. However, for you, keep doing it, and then it will come up with a message saying, developer mode enabled, or you are now a developer. You can then click back, and then you should have the developer options appear there. When you do, then go into the menu, and you need to make sure USB debugging is enabled, and it is that option there. So debug mode when USB is connected, make sure that that is turned on. Once you've done that, it will allow your healing to communicate with your PC over ADB. So we've got the Hue Link now enabled in developer mode and we've got the USB debug option enabled. We can now connect it via USB to our computer and actually have a look at what the settings are and how to change them. So we're gonna plug it into USB first of all and move over to the desktop. And here you can see I've got a command line up on the right hand side via terminal. And then on this side here, I've got the actual instructions on what to do. Now I will put these in a text file in the description of this video as well, but they are up on the screen for you here too. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually going and check our Hue Link is connected via ADB. So I'm just going to enable ADB on my computer, which is CD ADB. We're into the ADB folder and then check we've got ADB, which we have. To check if our Hue Link is actually connected, we're going to go ADB devices. And this will first of all show that the Hue Link is actually connected to our computer. Now, when you do this for the first time, your Hue Link will pop up with a question whether you want to connect to this computer or not, and whether you want to authorize it. You do need to enable that for the first time, otherwise the ADB devices won't show. However, when you have done it and it is connected right, you should see the Hue Link showing down here, just like this with the list of devices attached, showing you that it's actually connected. Now, once you've got that, we're ready now to go and have a look at what the current settings are. Now, the file that contains the power output configuration settings is this file here, which is called persist.sys.d2d.tx.power.config. And that, or CFG, that is the file that contains the settings. Now, uh, by default, it could have, should have the settings of 23, 20, 20, and 20. Now, to check this, we can simply take this command here, and the easiest way for me to do it is copy and paste. So we're just going to go control V and you can see by inputting that it's come back with the settings of 23 by 20 by 20 by 20. That is the default configuration. Now to have it at maximum output, it actually needs to be 28 by 28 by 28 by 28. And this is what will force it into 28 dB or 600 milliwatt. Now to do this is simply this command here. So if I copy this one, paste it across again, 
So we can see it's adb shell set prop persist dot sys dot t2d dot tx dot and then 28 comma 28 28 28. We then hit enter and it will simply return back to the command prompt. Now, if we now do that same get prop command that we did first of all, so if I scroll back and go to the get prop, you can now see that it has returned the value 28 by 28 by 28 by 28, which is the new setting that forces the here link into the maximum output. Now, once you've done that on the ground station, that's this side done. However, as I mentioned earlier, remember you do need to do the same thing on both sides, both the ground station and the ear unit. So what I'm gonna do now is grab my Rover and we're gonna plug that on and actually do the same on the ear unit side too. Okay, so I've got the Rover on the bench and I've got a little box under it just in case the wheels have a habit of kicking in because it does do that on now and again on this one if you've ever been watching the channel. Um, and we're going to jump back to the desktop. And again, what we're going to do first of all to make sure it's connected is do ADB devices. So we're going to click that and you can see now we've got a different device number. So if we look up here, this was the device for the ground station. This was the device for the ear unit. Again, we're going to see what the current setting is set to. So we're going to go uh, get prop. And you can see this time on the ground station, oh, sorry, on the ear unit, it is 23 by 20 by 20 by 20. So again, we're just going to go back to the same config. So scroll backwards. You don't even have to type it again if you keep the same window open. You can just use your up and down arrows to scroll back through. ADB shell set prop persist.sys.d2d.tx.pwr.config or CFG, I should say, 28, 28, 28, 28. Hit enter. Again, we've wrote those values to the device. We'll do the get prop. You can now see that it's set it back to the 28. And that is then the rover set to the maximum output as well. And that is it. That's how you set the healing to the maximum output. Both sides now set to 600 milliwatt, 28 dB, which should allow us to get up to the maximum range or at least the maximum penetration, depending on what you're doing. Now, I'd just like to thank you guys for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, please do consider hitting the subscribe button. I do have a whole host of videos on the healing system, Cube Pilot, Ardra Pilot, and things like that. If you are interested in them, please do check them out and please do consider hitting the subscribe button and that way you're supporting the channel as well. If you would like to support us, there are links in the description to buy me a coffee as well as Patreon as well. And it's only by you guys supporting us that way are we able to keep making videos like this. I'd also like to thank Ben at 3DXR in the UK. I wouldn't have been able to make many of my Ardra Pilot Hue Link videos without his support as well. They are a fantastic dealer and whilst they weren't directly involved in this video their support has enabled me to continue to make videos on this system and i will put a link to them in the description of this one as well anyway that's it thank you for watching please do hit the subscribe button and i will speak to you guys again soon